Man, what is going on, y'all boys? You already know it's UTDNZ. We're in Baker with another video. And today, we are on Jailbird. And I'm going to be covering the new update that literally just came out maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday. One of those two days. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. But I'm going to let y'all know. If y'all haven't already, make sure you hit that like button on the video. Comment what your favorite new thing about this update is. And subscribe to the, to the channel, you feel me? Cause why not? We we be posting jail, bro. We be posting all this, you know, content. But you don't want to subscribe? Subscribe. You feel me? We're on the road to 3.2k. I want to tell y'all, boys. I appreciate y'all giving me the 3.1. But let's just go ahead and get to the video of what I noticed in the first new update of Jailbird 4.0. Okay, so one of the first things I noticed whenever I started playing this game was the walk speed or the actual animation of the walk speed or the I said the walk speed the walking animation itself I think they changed the way the walking is a little bit I don't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure that my hand didn't go up and down like this whenever I was running through the uh, buildings and then not only that I feel like they changed something with the FOV because everything feels so much you know faster in the game now I could be tripping and it could just be my PC but I, I'm pretty sure that that has changed because I do not remember me being able to get around the map just this fast. And yes, I do have a lightweight vest on, by the way. So just in case you're wondering about that, yes, I know that. But still, I feel a little bit more fast. The second thing I noticed, if you look in the middle of the screen, you can see these little crosshairs on the wall. And they didn't used to have that. Or they actually had it, but I think it was a little bit different than this. It, you know, they didn't actually have like a crosshair that you could aim at whenever you know, we were looking at people. You was just, you know, you should just get as close as you can and aim them. So I think that was a super cool idea. And I'm pretty sure it changes depending on what you're using. So as of right now, I'm using the MP10 or the, yeah, the MP10. So I think it's different on different, you know, weapons, but on this one, that's how it looks. Now, for the third thing, if you haven't already noticed, there was some map changes. So, for example, like this, this was not here before, and they had like three desks or something like that. But this is now, you know, open. They had some more changes where I think it was like out like out here i'm pretty sure they changed one or two of the things no it was not here. it was somewhere in the other room but they made it to where it's just a lot easier to be able to go through the actual map itself and like have a bunch of different places where it's harder to just hide like for example this was all blocked off you couldn't see through here and then another one was like right through here so they changed a few other things with just the map and i noticed this on a couple of different maps like for example you could use to be able to hide like in between that wall right there but now you hide right here so i thought that was just cool that was just a little different about the game all right so yeah I'm going to be putting the full update list on the left side of the screen just so y'all can be able to see all the new stuff that they have. And I'm not going to just, I'm not going to go over it just because y'all can read that. But I'm going to just cover everything that I remember off of just playing the game. But for the next part, I think, or not I think, I know that they changed a lot of the sound cues. So for example, whenever I'm running around like this, you can hear like keys jiggling. And I don't know if it's just because of my vest. I, well, I'm pretty sure that is the reason. It's because of my vest. Now, I have a lightweight vest, so you're not going to be able to hear a whole a bunch of loud footsteps. It's kind of soft. So, it's just a bunch of different audio cues that they have. So, now, whenever you, like, get on the ground, they got that sound. And, like I said, the key sound. They added a little bit more detail on it. So, that's just something I also noticed that was really cool. The inspect animation is a little bit different as well because the inspect used to be way, I ain't gonna say way different, but it just used to be a little smaller than this. It wasn't showing the full thing like it does now. So, window. So, if you don't remember, there used to be a whole door right here uh, uh, before the update. And it was also just, you know, the desk. But they have it to where instead of you have to, you know, jump dive like you used to have to do, all you have to do now is you can run and jump through the window as if like it's some type of parkour. Which is good. I felt it was like a super cool update because now you could, you know, you could come in and you know automatically aim down at you know 
just whatever else you're looking for so and then along with that the boxes as well the boxes just adds a lot more cover especially for the room itself it's completely different the contestant sound is a lot different than what it used to be and you know just the, the sounds in general is just a lot different all right so on this map there was a couple things that i also had noticed that were a little bit different and you know that's just you know of course the spacing the spacing on the boxes i think this is the same but that's just something that i noticed <clears throat> and then not only that i also noticed these right here these were not there before i don't know exactly what they are but that was just something else i noticed just it's just a, you know little things just a small little things like this i don't even remember these being here now i could be tripping but i don't remember those being there but if they were there before you know it is what it is if they weren't now i'm pretty sure these never were there you know that. so you could actually hide behind these things now <clears throat> now i covered most of everything i'm pretty sure but i'm gonna show you another another couple things that they added for the actual ui um coming into the game so they have servers now so instead of going to play in casual you can go to servers and you can you know choose casual arcade or scrimmage so casual you can go to all the casual games and new ones that just started and all over so i thought this one was a really neat idea so instead of you getting loaded into just a random casual map you can choose which map your own and it's you know it's dedicated to its own thing so you don't have to look around and same thing with arcade and scrimmage so i thought those were pretty cool <clears throat> something new and i enjoyed it and like they said on the update just they have started pack do grand skin um hud for key binds i'm not sure exactly what that is they have uh like i said sound cues credit bonuses uh stats readjustments and i was i already knew they had new stats because i could definitely tell you about that but for the most part i think the update is good but there's only one bad thing about it is they made the game i don't know what they did to it exactly but they changed the way the game is played so for example I don't, before the update, I don't remember games going by fast like they are now. These games, now that I'm playing, go by super fast, and I have no clue why. But that's just something, that's just me. I feel like these games are faster. I think people with better ping are going crazy against all the, you know, newer people and people that don't have as good of ping. Now, you know, that's a, that's a personal problem, of course, but even then it still changed the way the game is played i feel like i feel like people just run through the map and, and don't camp like they used to or how the game is you know really supposed to be played but that's my opinion you know take it how you want to that's just how i feel but whenever you're going against people every game with 1.5 to 4 kds it's kind of like man i you know i don't know but that's just my personal opinion you know, take it however you want to but the last thing i forgot to cover that i had noticed was the loadout so you know they have the loadout as something different so now you can ch choose different things and you can select different loadouts and just the way it looks is completely different than how it used to be and also the vest the vest make different noise so depending on what vest you have and depending on you know how the person is moving you can hear them and determine what best they have. so it's gonna be a loud thud noise if they have my way best if they have, i mean if they have a, a big you know armor vest a heavy vest and it just the different vests have different sounds now so that was a cool addition but other than that i mean other than just you know the new season or not new season but the season um the color of the season pass uh, that's a little bit different uh, you know this it's not bad at all i like it but <clears throat> it's just like i said it's just something new but for the most part that is you know that's the full coverage of the update from what i remember i mean like i said you can go through the, go through this and look at all the other ones but for the most part the update was good it's just we gonna you know i'm gonna have to give it a little bit more time to be able to really see what's the best you know how, how it was going to work out 
because as of right now, a lot of people are saying, you know, they haven't mixed feelings about it. But I think the update is decent. I do see a couple problems, but they might get brought up in the future. It might be later. But for the most part, the update, you know, the ad, the addition of the new stuff was good. I don't feel like it broke anything necessarily, but they did widen the, they widened the, I want to say like skill level. So, like I said, if you, you if ping, ping plays a huge role in being able to win games. So, in my opinion, I feel like the update is good, but they did broaden the skill base, you know, system. And that's the only problem I don't really like. But for the most part, like I said, it's good. But that's just my opinion on it, man. Like you said, you can see the Discord for the full update log. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'm going to see y'all boys in the next video.